right, let's dive into this heated debate between Ray Vaughn and Maul from the new Rory and Maul podcast over Kendrick Lamar's legacy. The controversy started when Maul questioned the ranking of Kendrick's good kid, Mad City, on Apple Music's list of the top 100 albums of all time. The album was placed at number seven, which Maul found absurd, especially given that Michael Jackson's Thriller was just five slots ahead at number two. Maul's critique didn't stop at the list placement. He openly contested the album's standing, stating, Good kid, Mad City is not no seven of all time. Let's stop the shit. He went further to accuse Spotify of inflating streams, a common criticism in the streaming era, where numbers can sometimes be misleading due to bot streams and playlist placements. According to Maul, this high ranking was undeserved and indicative of manipulation rather than genuine popularity. Ray Vaughn, a Long Beach native and a recent signee to Top Dog Entertainment, TDE, where Kendrick Lamar also launched his career, took to X to address Maul's comments. Vaughn accused Maul of being obsessed with hating on Kendrick, stating, that Maul dude is obsessed with hating on a DLT and it's weird ASF. Outside of Nirvana. Man, fuck it, man. Good Kid, Mad City is not number seven of all time. Let's stop the shit. It's right. not. No, it's Let's not. stop the it's shit, not, bro. bro. Let's stop not. the fucking it's shit. Not. It's Spotify not even, with these fake streams. Stop the seven, shit, bro. It's not even number seven of the rap albums. Stop the shit. We all fuck with Kendrick, but stop the bullshit. Yeah. Number seven of all... <laughs> Yo, he's five slots behind Thriller. Are you fucking I'm, kidding me? I'm starting to think there is something personal. What did Kendrick do to you? No, there's nothing personal, but Good Kid, Mad City is a number seven. No, it's not. All right, that's all I'm saying. As far as impact, it is the modern day last rap classic that we can speak to. It defined a generation. It will be heralded the same way Illmatic. I used to say, I guarantee you, in 50 years, they'll have that van on Urban Outfitters shirts. Asking you, fuck this list. Mm. You think that Good Kid, Mad City deserves to be number seven and Illmatic is number 48 or whatever it is? <laughs> no, I don't. I, okay. Don't put me in that corner. That's, I'm, just, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking. Vaughn implied that Maul's viral moments only come from his negativity towards Kendrick, which adds a layer of personal animosity to the professional critique. To understand this feud, we need to contextualize Kendrick Lamar's legacy in hip hop. Good Kid, Mad City is often hailed as a modern classic, praised for its narrative depth, lyrical prowess, and cohesive storytelling. Released in 2012, the album not only solidified Kendrick's place in the rap industry, but also earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. It's not just an album, it's a cultural milestone that reflects the struggles and triumphs of a young man growing up in Compton. Maul's criticism wasn't isolated to just the album ranking. He also sided with Drake in his ongoing feud with Kendrick Lamar. That's exactly what he did on the Hard Part 6. He rapped about this nigga is taking his fake information. I told y'all this on Family Matters when I said, you digging for dirt, you should be digging for proof. I got pictures of the fucking little girl all in the fucking video plastered on the wall. I'm fucking playing with this dumb nigga and he's going for it. I'm the most lit nigga in the game. Y'all mad and there's no skeletons in my closet. I'm not no fucking pedophile. Stop it. <laughs> That's the only thing y'all niggas know that could fucking end my run is me being, and it doesn't exist. Stop okay. the bullshit. But do you, you Mr. Lamar, you hit your girl <laughs> because she's bigger than you. <laughs> You put your hands on your girls. You've been engaged for years. You're not married yet. You living in New York. She's not. <laughs> Let's talk real shit. All this 11 year old daughter shit y'all talking about. And he, oh, he, cause he released it right after the Family Matters. It's, it's a better record. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. We didn't say it was a better record. We said Family Matters man. is probably the best song in this whole It shit. ain't no probably, <laughs> nigga. It's the best <laughs> record <laughs> that's releasing this entire beef. In one of his podcast episodes, Ma brought up allegations of Kendrick assaulting his fiance, claiming that it painted a negative picture of Kendrick's personal life. He also touted Drake's Family Matters as the best diss track in the beef adding another layer to the already complex relationship between these artists. Ray Vaughn's defense of Kendrick goes beyond mere loyalty to his label mate. It's a defense of an artist who has profoundly influenced the genre and inspired countless listeners. Vaughn's aggressive stance against Maul's criticisms highlights the deep respect and reverence he and many others have for Kendrick's contributions to music and culture. 
public criticisms like those from Maul can significantly impact an artist's public perception. While constructive criticism is valuable, the line between critique and personal attack can sometimes blur, especially in the public eye. For Kendrick, an artist known for his introspective and often socially conscious lyrics, such attacks can seem not just unwarranted, but also dismissive of the broader impact of his work. In the end, this feud is more than just a disagreement over an album ranking. It's a reflection of the larger discourse around artistic merit, legacy, and the sometimes harsh nature of public criticism. Whether you side with Ma's hard-hitting critiques or Ray Vaughan's staunch defense, one thing is clear. Kendrick Lamar's influence on the music industry is undeniable and continues to spark passionate debates. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Ray Vaughan and Ma feud over Kendrick Lamar, make sure to subscribe to the Red Carpet Reup for more exclusive content. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update. See you next time.